Let me start with the current macro situation. I think uh, it is true, the Prime Minister has said this, uh, the macroeconomic situation has stabilized, and that is an achievement if you think uh, about the depth of the crisis. Now, every country that goes down significantly will at some point come back up again. And for us, the main worry, or for us, the main concern, uh, perhaps better is, how, how does the medium-term growth path for Ukraine look? You know, what are the chances of really uh, converging to European living standards? What are the foundations for reaching the goal of being in the, in the G20, in the top 20 countries in the world by 2020? That's really what we should be focusing on, rather than whether this year's growth at 4.5% and next year will be 5 I think Ukraine can grow 8%. We've said so publicly. Um, but for that, you need the structural reforms. Um, and, and that's what we've been focusing on. Um, for that, you also need to make yourself more resilient against the likely shocks that the international economy will bring on, upon Ukraine, and we're living in a very volatile world. So I think you need to diversify. You need to have stronger institutions to withstand those shocks. And when you see what's going on in other emerging markets, you're seeing that that's exactly what they're doing. So there's one comparison that looks at Ukraine today relative to Ukraine 20 years ago. What a great success story. On the other hand, there is a comparison of Ukraine today versus other emerging markets that have progressed equally, perhaps even faster over the last 20 years. And that's really the competition that this country faces, uh, also in terms of attracting uh, foreign direct investment and modernizing its economy.